and the very first talk that he gave, he, we were all Catholics there, and he said, you know, it's great to talk about the sacraments and how wonderful they all are, but it's like having a birthday gift. It's lovely to look at the wrappings, but if you only admire the wrappings, what is in the contents of the gift is what you're, you have to open it. And he said, this baptism of the Spirit, this renewal of the Holy Spirit, is the opening up to the graces of the Holy Spirit, which will bring about a total transformation in your approach to the sacraments of the church, to your life. And all you have to do is pray to the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to pray with you. I remember it so well because I was born on the Feast of Pentecost. So I, you know, I prayed to the Holy Spirit, but I'd never heard it put this way. Because, you know, you're always afraid, is this a new thing when people talked about the right. baptism? Anyway, I'm in the front pew, and I remember saying, now listen, Holy Spirit, if you're passing by, I'm right here. Whatever, I don't <laughs> want any special gifts or anything. I just want to experience the Lord. Never thought of my physical condition. So Father is going to pray with people, and um, I'm getting all ready. I'm thinking, I hope he comes and prays with me. And I heard an inner voice saying to me, just very gentle, no breach, seek me. At that moment, I felt a hand touch my head as I closed my eyes. I said, Jesus, please help me. And at that moment, this power went through my body. The first thing I realized is I'm healed physically. But Father, the physical was nothing to the conversion of my life. That day, I met, like Thomas did, the person of Jesus, and my whole life was changed. The sacraments uh, became alive to me, and my religious life, I kind of took my vocation for granted. You know, people would say to me, oh, do you 